Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Today we're going to be talking about the one thing that a lot of people have been asking about, and that actually has to do with portals. Now, a lot of people are kind of surprised and kind of wondering how the portal system works. So, I'm going to break it down for you today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about portals. And with the different portals, as you can see, we have the Time Association portal, where curses are, exist. And then we have the other portal, which is the, the normal one from the brand new Titan event. Then we got another portal, which is one I don't really see people doing a lot, and that's the Orochimaru portal from uh, the Naruto verse, which is like the first portal you could actually get now. Uh, so they did just add this recently. This was a part of the last big update that they just launched. So, you know, if you guys do not know, that's definitely something you have to look into. Uh, freaking next, we're going to talk about pretty much how these things work. So how the portals actually work is whenever you open them up, let's say this tier six, uh, you do have a uh, the brand new element system, which grants bonus damage based off of the character that you're going to be bringing in, such as water gets 120%. We have uh, physical damage, which gets an extra 32%. And then we have that 79% for all dark type units. Now, if you guys do want to see what units are what, uh, they do have them on the Discord, but, you know, I'll probably show you guys later. Uh, in these, you actually have a 2% chance to get a random portal, but you have a guaranteed chance, if you win, to get a 6 or and a 7. So that would be the portal tier of now, and then the portal tier for the next one above. And they also grant you very specific rewards, so this one's 100% guaranteed going to give you some coins, which will be the guaranteed 100 for doing a tier 6 portal. But you'll also get tier 7 portals, and so on and so on. Uh, right now, the only thing that's really annoying... Wait, what the... That says uh, 1,000... 1,700k percent chance to get that. Uh, I'm not, I'm not doing portals. Uh, let's see. So, you know, with these uh, portals, you do have to, like, take into consideration where is your power level whenever it comes down to the portals. A lot of people like to cheese it. A lot of people like to uh, use meta characters. But honestly, it really just comes down to if you are playing by the meta, you should be able to get your hands on a decent character. Sadly, there's no really, really decent character besides maybe Yuji for the uh, portal. Uh, unless you're just going to use a meta character like Madara or anything else like that, then it's not going to matter either way. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's just something you have to take into consideration. Now, getting these portals is a completely different story. Now, getting the portal for the first time, actually, you could get it from someone else's portal, where you can get uh, a chance off of someone else's portal, like their drops, or you could get them based off the level, like I said. Infinite mode here. Uh, and we go to the Burning City Infinite Mode here. You see the Burning City portal. And then we go over here to the, I believe, the Sorcery Village, which gives you the Cursed portal. Of course, this one's a very end game portal. But the, the event portal that everyone's looking towards is right here. So, very, very important. Don't forget to get these portals as soon as you can before they are gone. They are going to be quite the freaking, uh, you know, quite the grind. You don't have to use specifically hard mode or... Or normal mode, you could just use normal mode on infinite, and then just kind of work your way through there. I think getting to level 10 kind of stops, it stops there, and then you can probably walk out for a little bit, because I've gotten to level like 96 on like this one and the Naruto one, and I was like, okay, so when is like a really good you know spot to stop? And honestly, I think it really just comes down to getting past that first 10. Once you get past that first 10, then after that you're pretty much done. And you don't have to worry about doing that again. Now, once that is the case, then, you know, get your portal. And remember, it is a 10% chance that so you are not guaranteed the portal. But, you know, there's a very high chance you will be able to get the portal, depending on, uh, you know, your luck, pretty much. Um, it's kind of like something that you just kind of want to do whenever you're working on the game. Uh, but after getting to, like, that certain wave, I don't know the exact wave, but I should in the future maybe but right now these portals are so new to me and to many other people that it's more of the long line of the lines of once you get one portal you pretty much never have to get another portal ever again because that's just the way that the portals work unless you lose then you lose your portal 
but you know you're still going to be guaranteed that portal at the end of the day uh if you just win either a level one move your way back up you probably start that level four even though you lost your level five then just do that level four again and just kind of work from there so i'm just going to go ahead and just get a feel for this just pop one burris and kind of just stop here because uh with burris he kind of just has like my favorite move in the game which is the supernova and it pretty much clears a very large margin of monsters and especially with a dps of um if you put down all three burises at least for me right now it's going to be a very decent amount of dps which is like i believe like 3k dps somewhere around there uh the dps for this burris exactly by itself though is not too bad either because that's a uh, uh, hang on, let me just do the math for you guys real quick. That will be 681 DPS. That is the equivalent of all four of my Genoses on the ground right now. You know what I mean? So I think that uh, with that being the case, you just kind of like have to go for a meta unit and a hope that you get something really good on it. Like if you guys have not seen my progression video, don't forget to check that one out. That one was recent where I talk about what are the best ways to progress your units and stuff like that, especially for new players. If you want, I could even link it down below, which I will do just to make sure that you guys can take a look at that and realize what in this update are you supposed to look for? What's the main focus? And then after that kind of move on from there because not every unit's going to be really, really worth it to you nor is every unit going to be uh, super, super, uh, how do you say, broken off rip. Like, I've freaking, I think they're just really pushing out units right now. And when they push out these units, they're just going to keep doing that until at some point they find that, you know, maybe they'll start messing with them. Because only the old units have been able to st stand the test of time. But these new units that just released are already worse than the newer units that are releasing. And it's just like, they just don't plan on adjusting those as much as we thought they would. Um, at least, you know, I'm just going to take it with a grain of salt. Anything that they tell me is going to be the complete opposite. Because uh, from the information I was given, uh, just didn't happen. That's it. And they don't focus on, they are not focusing on that right now. They're focusing on future characters, newest characters, newer gimmicks, uh, or bringing new gimmicks to the characters and stuff like that. I do like this Attack on Titan update a lot more than I like the other update that they released at the release, because the other update didn't really make much sense, because it was just less clean. It was very, like, just throw a bunch of characters on the board and hope that the characters are going to be really, really good. All right, so let's see. Did we get lucky? No, we did not. All right, so, you know, you could go higher, totally. Just go higher as far as you can. I just wanted to show you guys from my perspective uh, pretty much where I would stop. And, you know, I would honestly just keep going. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys but not take up too much of your time. Because if we, if we actually sat here for, like, an extra, like, nine, uh, 96 waves or even 100 waves, I would be, like, you know, I wouldn't be able to grind all the other content that I have to get out to you guys. So I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. I'll see you guys in a future video. Take it easy and peace out.